Hello, Detroit cricket lovers. You are listening to DCL Talk Show on DCL Radio. Today is um, June 28th. Um, what a wonderful um, uh, week we had um, uh, in terms of uh, cricketing skills. Okay. Uh, before I get into cricketing skills, um, uh, basically, uh, this is one more week where we got all our games got affected by um, rain gods. Yet, we were able to complete 14 games that shows uh, how great uh, these teams are, how um, you know eager to play, uh, <coughs> complete their games, even though most of, uh, most of the games were... Um, ruined by rain with that i'll just give a little introduction about um, uh, one of the superstars of this league uh, who created a sun- sensation this weekend and uh, last weekend basically what he did was amazing which we haven't seen before and i'm sure it's not going to happen in future and uh, you know that there's a sentence in uh, sanskrit which says nabhuto nabhavishyati so this is something amazing which I haven't seen in my entire life. I'm sure I won't be seeing this miracle again. I don't call it miracle because he's most um, um, uh, talented guy in our league, Detroit Cricket League. So in one of the I- MIPL games, he took nine wickets in total. This is how his um, over um, his his quote of overs reading: four overs, four maidens. Uh, obviously, somebody said zero runs. <laughs> zero runs. So when it is four maidens, it's obvious zero runs, and he took nine wickets. Four, four, nine. And what is most important about um, uh, these nine wickets is something that never happened before. Something that I believe is not going to happen in future is taking six wickets in six balls. Okay. And um, I've seen this video, um, what, 10, 15 times as of now. And uh, the accuracy that he maintained in that bowling was really awesome. And, you know, I don't have words to explain that over. So before we get into all these details and uh, talk to this uh, superstar, he's a well-known superstar in our league uh, because when he played in Detroit, uh, uh, Detroit Cricket League, DCL, very first time, he won uh, Rookie of the Year, Year Award. And at the time, I, I, I know very little about this guy. So I happened to see him in, um, in one of the games. I said, your, your bowling is awesome. And he, he, he politely said, I was Rookie of the Year last year. So that is the f- first time I saw him. Uh, and, and um, you know, how... One, playing a game is a different, being humble is a different thing. This guy is a combination of great smile, great bowling, great batting, and very down to earth. With that, um, I will introduce our regular analyst, um, and then I will introduce our guest of the night, Mr. Dinesh Panditi. Okay, welcome, KK. Uh, thank, uh, you, thank you, Jayden. Welcome, welcome, all the listeners. All the listeners. Welcome, Imti. Thanks again. Thanks, I, uh, welcome all the listeners again. And I also would like to congratulate you on your awesome, awesome performance. Imti, your voice is a uh, uh, little, uh, what I say, bold. So you have to reduce your voice a little bit. Okay. And then now I welcome, uh, say, uh, of course, I'm waiting for Jesse. And he is the one who really wants to talk about uh, Dinesh Pandeti. Uh, he is the one who saw that one. Uh, during the game, uh, I myself watched it on the video. So now, uh, 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 Jesse is re- uh, running a little late. So uh, I will introduce our star of the night and uh, superstar of uh, Detroit Cricket League. And what else? Dinesh Pendeti, welcome to the show. Hi, 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 guys. First of all, uh, thank you guys to invite me for this talk show. So uh, I have been following it from past uh, couple of years. I, I I never think that this early I'll come to the show, but thank you, Jagan, KK, and Impi for inviting me. Okay. So, KK, 
Do you want to talk to Dinesh Mendeti before I ask my questions? No, uh, yes, Jagan. What can I say? You know, as you clearly summed it up, Nabuto na Bhavishati, and I played with uh, Dinesh in the year 2016. That was for the ILA Cup, and when I tried to keep the wickets when he was bowling, I thought the fence was too short. Uh, I mean, you need to stay behind. This guy has sheer pace. But uh, I somehow think last year he lacked that line and length along with his pace. But this year, you know, he has proven us uh, that with his sheer pace, if he combines it with line and length, he can do utter damage. And you know, taking six wickets in over is unbelievable. Uh, among all the hosts of this show, I believe Imti is the best bowler. But now Imti will himself he might feel a little low when he compares to Dinesh. That is how. Uh, this last week's spell was and uh, Dinesh, I hope you continue that. Just make sure when you you don't bowl the same way when you're playing this. Imti, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, your thoughts on uh, Dinesh Pendetti's bowling? Uh, I think uh, you, when you introduced uh, Dinesh uh, just uh, in the beginning of the show, I think you summed it all up uh, perfectly and like uh, I also uh, had a chance to play with uh, Dinesh uh, alongside him. And it's a sheer pleasure uh, watching him bowling. And uh, uh, very few bowlers uh, I can think of in the league that has that kind of pace and control in bowling. And uh, like like you said, six six balls, six wickets in an over. That's a feat that that is like an every bowler's dream. Uh, and uh, I, I saw the video a lot of times, just watching that over again and again. And like I just can't get enough of it. So uh, it's a big big shout out to the to Dinesh and like. Hearty congratulations. Thank, thank you, Unti. And thank you, KK. Okay. And uh, b- before we proceed, right, Jagan, I have a question for Dinesh. Okay. Yeah. So, the year you played for the first time, right, uh, Dinesh, in, in 2016, yeah. when you initially played DCL, you were playing for Panthers and you were the rookie of the award. And I think you and uh, there, is, there was another player called Bharat, right? Yes. You both carried the team into the playoffs and you know, you had so much dependency on you. You were the absolute superstar of the team. You were performing in both batting and bowling. And, uh, you know, what made you move to Indus Thunder? <laughs> so now you are, <laughs> you are putting in me in trouble. So, no, yeah, not it, trouble. It, it, it was yeah. a genuine question because <laughs> no, yeah, hey, I it was I'm what? Yeah. Yeah. I think KK just took the advantage of a public <laughs> platform to ask this question. <laughs> Because, uh, yeah, that's the question which has been, you know, bothering me when it comes to Dinesh. Uh, MP. <laughs> it has been bothering me for the last 18 months or so. You know, what, uh, why does people change teams where there is so much dependency? Uh, uh, so Dinesh, this is what I heard. Your brother yeah. is uh, part of Indus and he is very close friend yeah. of... Uh, so you are supposed yeah, to be for them and... Like- it is like he was the one who introduced me to Panthers first and again uh, uh, he is like playing in, he is my brother and he is playing in Indus. Uh, so uh, so he some some kind of obligations or whatever but uh, I have no, you know, uh, no hard feelings in Panthers or still I, I, you know, move with them very closely, very, they, I know they talk to me very cordially and I have that relationship. So <laughs> no hard feelings for them as well, I believe. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. See, Mr. Yeah. Mishra was one of the happiest persons, um, you know, <laughs> uh, when he heard about this achievement, he's, he's yeah. one quickly reacted. And uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, he, he even texted me saying that uh, I'm, I'm really proud of you and you are part of Panthers like that. So I, I really touched with his message. So, yeah. He's a very nice guy, Deepak Mishra. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You, you know what? Uh, last week, I just want to share this one with you. Last week, yeah. uh, uh, I'd say last year, I was uh, talking talking to him and said, uh, yeah. uh, he uh, he mentioned that, you know, I produced two back-to-back uh, two youngsters <laughs> who, are, um, um, who won the uh, Rookie of the Year award. So, so uh, I was casually asked him, okay, Dinesh Pandeti went to in the standards, why can't you give Satya to GLCC? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he, was, he was laughing out loud. Okay. Uh, with that, yeah. uh, Wamsi, uh, mm-hmm. you okay with that answer? Yeah, I'm okay with that answer. The only uh, question pending to Dinesh is, Dinesh, who is your brother and what is his contact number? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. So KK yeah, is think... becoming the official Sherlock Holmes of DC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll actually get into the details as we proceed, uh, uh, MC, because I want to discuss about a lot of things. The reschedule of the poker is game from last weekend. Why the why poker is not turn up in full squad? There are a lot of things, a lot of digging I digging I did into. So you know, we'll get into the details. You'll get to know who is Sherlock Holmes and who is Watson. Okay, uh, Dinesh. Yeah. First question to you. Yeah. Is that synced? You. you how how was how were you feeling when you are bowling that over? What was going through your mind? That is the first question. The second question is: Is it synced? Okay. Did you realize what you did? <laughs> yeah, I realized after you know few hours or like few days. <laughs> okay. So what was going through yeah. during that when when that happened? It's happening. Uh, wicket after wicket, wicket after wicket, and you completed. All, you have taken all six wickets. And what was? Yeah. The... So. Uh... so obviously we had a big score on board we we never bothered about you know uh, uh plans on other batsmen like what to uh, what to take into consideration those things so we just uh, felt bowling ourselves and when i bowled the first couple of overs uh, i knew i was getting the areas where i want to bowl uh, because uh, the first three wickets i got was also bowled so i was getting my rhythm and you know i was getting my length properly and in the third over of mine when i when i started bowling the same length so so actually yeah i i was stick to that particular length and line so yeah i was constantly bowling hitting on the same length that's where actually uh, it got me that whole bounty of wickets in that over okay what was the feeling after six after taking six wickets I was literally shocked myself. I <laughs> I am like <laughs> I am not very sure if there was no batsman. Let's say if that was a bowl out over, I am I am still uh, still surprised like whether I can bowl all six balls under the stems. But yeah, I am I was in uh, full surprise that uh, you know that what I did. Okay, uh, this was uh, this was a question from my um, very good friend. uh avinash of pokeries okay yeah. what was <laughs> what what does he feel about rahul taking the last wicket <laughs> i uh, like i like after after nine wickets still i had uh, one more over so i couldn't able to get that last one so i am happy for uh, whatever uh, you know the team what we did the end of the day we need to wrap it up so yeah he he, he took that uh, last one so i am happy for that <laughs> so so even uh, see um, you mean you 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 finished your quota right four overs yeah 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 but uh, at, at the end of my third over i got the nine wicket i nine still wicket. had one more over so the last over i couldn't able to get a wicket so it was a made in okay good 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 yeah. <laughs> fantastic <laughs> okay so uh, what was the feeling of your captain he was <laughs> he was on clouds that day okay like, so <laughs> Yeah. So it was a very happy man. So what happened what did you guys did after you you took those six wickets or nine wickets totally but uh, after the game what what is that you guys did is there anything special they did for you? Uh a special means yeah there there were some 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 kind of rewards and all from the indus then mm-hmm. then it went normal day like I had other games so I went there and I played. Okay. Yeah. actually uh when you said reward uh we have uh, uh i i i want to share this uh, this with you the first thing is uh this is from sandeep gopu this is what he sent yeah okay for such a brilliant performance from dinesh pendeti in i mipl game on behalf of indus friends and family we are rewarding with him with a memento where it will have his name his picture the ball and bowling figures and a gift of 250 dollars that is wow. <laughs> that, that is the announcement from um indus family okay that is the first one first reward that i heard okay you tell me did you hear anything other than this no that's this is the one this is the one i i heard 
okay yeah, this is okay. on yeah and there is lot more rewards coming in okay um the one that uh, that is you know uh, aditi restaurant uh, owned by ajay reddy is giving a uh, $25 voucher to you you can use it any time you want okay that is the second one and um, there's another one he's he's just pure cricket lover so he gave away uh, he's very active in ford cricket league he gave away a $25 speedway gas card for your performance okay so i will i have two more for you but i'll announce um as uh, we progress through this um uh uh show okay yeah okay so yeah on this occasion i i really really want to thank the whole in this family so they are like continuously encouraging me from past year and they are like completely supporting me so i like, will be privileged to be with uh, such a nice fraternity so on this occasion i am specially you know thanking all my indus family and you know players of all indus uh, fraternity thank you indus okay and uh, uh, see lot of people are spreading this one uh, this is the message i want to give it to entire dcl community and uh, those uh, all uh, dcl radio listeners that you know this is kind of world record you know it 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 hasn't happened uh, as of now so this video is just circulating among ourselves within detroit community or maybe a little bit here and there but i would appreciate all the listeners if they can tag this to bcci okay cricket australia like that i want you guys to tag this one in twitter or in your facebook account to to every possible cricketer in the world like virat kohli dhoni everybody has a twitter account i want you guys to uh, uh take a minute take a moment uh, in appreciation for this great achievement i want you guys to tag this video to all the great cricketers and cricket boards in the world that way um he'll get recognized by um most uh, um you know uh most of the cricket community and uh, uh well known uh, people like i'm i'm sure virat kohli definitely see this one and appreciate this one this is my gut feeling because he has a habit of uh a habit of looking at everything so please please i request everybody to tag this to every possible cricketer in the world tag this one in the twitter okay video thank you uh with that uh i want to um start this regular show we are running little bit late um give me one second sorry before uh, i start a regular show i just would like to say thanks to uh, our empires um gautam shetty bharat gadari sukarna from mustangs pawan nitin ramesh from agni raghu from agni and amit kiran pardi from raptors satya kishan swarup from glads deepu gibin gino from bulls arun manjunath prabhu from knockers nalin lav and satish from krcc shiva riyaz varma girish from blues thank you lot guys um, hello job well done uh, looks like we have a caller somebody call hello. in hello may know who is that uh, hi jagan this is mangesh uh, calling in hey hey mangesh um hi i have uh, dinesh kk and um, um inti with me Dinesh is a man of the hour. Yeah, hi guys. Uh hi everybody. Uh this is Mangesh from Anjan Sports and uh, Dinesh uh, congratulations uh, for your awesome record man. That is like unbelievable spell. Like four overs I was like watching the video. I think I watched the video three times. I don't know how you got the six wickets continuously and then the LBW was a cherry on the top of the ice cream. That's what I would call the last ball. Awesome bowling buddy. Thank you. Thank you Mangesh. 
Uh, as and, a remember, I think we we had like we played together one or couple of games. I I believe I think. <laughs> yes, yes, we did play yeah. together. Liverpool, yeah. we played or we all played together. So yeah. we still have your name in the team. I think I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to check that. <laughs> but still, man, it was unbelievable. And uh, as Jagan thank is you, saying, like you, we should you. be we should be tagging your video, and then it should reach our uh, superstars so that like they should also pass on their appreciation. Thank you, thank you, Mangesh. and uh, and uh, the reason i called especially uh, i have been like talking with jagan regarding this one uh, as, as a token of appreciation like uh, from anjan sports we would uh, like to offer a 25 dollar gift card to you i would uh, pass it on the gift card via sandeep uh, sandeep gopi your captain right so i'll definitely yeah. pass it on to him so feel free to stop by anytime and uh, and once again like It's an awesome spell and keep, keep rocking, man. Thank you, thank you, Mangesh. Hey, Mangesh, can you tell about your uh, store a little bit? Uh, basically, Anjan Sports is a, a cricketing store. Uh, it's solely online. Uh, we we run the business from our house, actually, uh, garage, basically. We started like three months ago, and uh, uh, thanks to uh, thanks to thanks to dcl uh, thanks to dcl like we were able to uh, uh, provide the balls to you guys for this year uh, that is one big uh, um, partnership which we got uh, with dcl that's th- thanks to uh, the dcl committee for that and we have all cricketing goods like end to end from helmets to toe guard uh, pads uh, pa- english willow pads and our we also manufacture our own uh, english willow pads So those are the clefts which are bought from india and manufactured in india and uh, the clefts are bought from the people who are supplying for brands like ss and sg so our english willow bats are top quality i would not call like grade a plus but it's grade a grade one english willow bats and the pricing on those bats are like really surprising if you just walk into our store and then you should feel the bat and then see so uh, and uh, regarding others cricketing goods we have ne- name everything we have everything from gloves to pads bats english willow bats kashmir willow bats and everything so okay. that's about our store we just started we are young uh, we want to grow our business and then we are looking for partnership with other leagues uh, like dcl and stuff like that and mishka and also we'll have to work with them and then get something together okay thanks a lot anjan uh, no, thanks a lot mangesh for um, yeah your, thanks um, thanks like everybody you. for your support thank you thank and, you uh, thanks again thanks oh. again and uh, once again dinesh uh, congrats a big congrats to you and thank you thank you buddy. mangesh thank you okay dinesh uh, meanwhile we will go through our uh, games and uh, sure. you know, okay um you, your game i'm going to ask you okay the okay. first game of the night is in the uh thunders versus kecc your thoughts on that game uh first of all i would like to appreciate their uh commitment so though the game was uh, uh rain rain on the uh, you know uh, actual day but uh, uh the next day uh, they were committed to play and few of their main players were not there though they uh, they were uh, like i i really appreciate their commitment and uh, uh yeah so so first uh we i i i am not sure about the toss who, who won or not but we we bowled first and we were managed to uh restrict them to 70 and then uh yeah we we lost a couple of wickets maybe like four and then yeah we were comfortably chased the total okay so kcc scored batting first they scored 69 runs in 18.1 yeah. over and yeah. you guys changed it in 11.4 overs and losing five wickets okay yeah yeah okay then uh, with that uh, let's uh, get into our uh, next game the next game of the night is um, mi rangers versus uh, dark horses kk your thoughts oh what can i say you can you know after losing to blues last week uh this was uh, a mandatory win for it, this should have been a mandatory win for mi rangers if they wanted to continue in the tournament but now they have put themselves into a situation where you know they have to beat either of indus thunders or gladiators which we hope are the best teams in this tournament which uh, 
he bit to be the best team. So that's the situation which they fell into after losing these games to Dark Horses, and they were not even able to secure the one bonus point. So really disheartening to see this, and uh, you know even the MI Rangers will be considered to be a bowling unit. They had 110 runs to defend, and you know, but they considered all the runs in 21 overs. Uh, there are only a couple of contributions from the, in their batting department. Not a couple, I would say three. Abhilash and Anil played well, and Venkat Gandham, he was the one he, who stitched the innings together. If not, they would have been all out for, say, 65 or 70. At one time, they were 63 for 8, but with the help of Shravan and Sandeep, they were able to put on the extra 50 runs. And uh, looking at the score half a stage, I thought maybe they had enough runs to defend. But uh, you now we have to give credit to Dark Horses as well, because you see that six players in the double digits. You know, when the team, this is called as a team effort. Even their wickets were taken by four different bowlers, and uh, in the batting department, they had six double-digit scores, and uh, you know that summed up the game for them. And hard luck, MI Rangers, and I would also want to add something here. I somehow feel uh, MI Rangers without Satish Kumar Akiyam is uh, uh, like Australia without Stephen Smith. So okay, you can't find a way to win. Yeah, I agree on that. And uh, before I go to our next game, GLCC versus Falcons, uh, I just received a text message from Satish, of, uh, captain of Legends. Uh, congratulations to Dinesh uh, for his great achievement. He is uh, a nice person down to earth. Please convey it to him. Okay, that's for you, Dinesh. Thank you, thank you, Satish. Okay, our next game is GLCC versus Falcons. And GLCC uh, batting first scored uh, 101. Losing five wickets, Falcons uh, failed to chase, uh, which was a 20 overs game. Okay, uh, your thoughts on this MT? Yeah, uh, this was one of the uh, showcase games of the week. GLCC Falcons, both uh, stalwart teams in the league. Uh, it, would, uh, it, it would have been a very good contest. Uh, uh, un, uh, unfortunate that it was a reduced uh, overs game, like 20 overs game. Uh, GLCC batting first, scoring 101. I think they made a very good comeback after the first few wickets. They were like four down in the fifth over. Uh, very good uh, partnership between Ashraf and uh, Roshan. Roshan scoring uh, unbeaten 50. Uh, congratulations to him. And uh, uh, I think it was a very calculated. Oh, no. He is unbeaten 51. Oh, yeah, unbeaten. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah uh, I think it looks like a very calculated batting. I don't think they ran away with the game or anything because... 31 of 40 and 51 of 51. I think it was a calculative batting effort and a, a very a good score of 101 in 20 overs. Mind you, it's a 20 overs game. So, uh, halfway through the game, I think uh, maybe Falcons fancied their chances because of their last week's performance, uh, where say, their openers like hit like 100 plus uh, runs in for the first wicket. Uh, look, like halfway through the game, they might think they they, they should have had the game in their kitty, but I think uh, GLCC just stuck to their basics and like they got some quick wickets in the beginning. Uh, good uh, uh, batting by Dilip for his 27 and then Siddharth for his 31, but then there are no other major contributions in the batting lineup. It looks like uh, the other end was always uh, uh, not getting those uh, runs but when you're chasing a score uh, of 120 overs, you need the scoreboard ticking and maybe the scoreboard pressure got to them and they like fell short of like seven runs, six runs in the end. Uh, very uh, tough situation, but yeah, uh, I think good good game by GLCC got them those four points. So congratulations, GLCC and hard luck Falcons. Okay, the next one is Risers versus uh, Rising Stars. Uh, KK, can you take this game in the absence of Jesse? Yeah, sure, Jayden. No problem. Okay. So I'll I'll go alternatively between you and uh, um, and uh, 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 next two games are yours. Okay, okay, okay. Sure, sure. No problem. Yeah. So you know, uh, before you start, Dinesh. Um, sorry, you, uh, it may be boring for next uh, ten fifteen minutes, but I want you to be here uh, to uh, predict the games next week. Games is that okay with you, right? I don't know whether uh, Dinesh is here or not. Uh, okay. Hello. Hello. Hey, hey, Dinesh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I, I heard you. Like, I, I'll, I'll be in the line, but I'm not sure about the predictions. Yeah, yeah. See, we will make yeah. sure that. Okay, you'll, <laughs> you'll, you'll predict something tonight. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, you yeah. start. Yeah. Okay. This is the game between Rising Stars and Risers. We 
all predicted that you know this will be a game that will go down to the wire and it will be a tough contest as we predicted it was a close contest contest rising stars piling up 111 for 10 in 24.5 overs they were all out and uh, their batting was mainly held by drumel limbagiri swami and amit ri patel and the rest of the batsmen did not contribute much there were uh, three ducks and uh, you know there, there are many single digit scores and somehow jagan naga in this week i feel that the score cards are not complete the extra shows a zero which never happened in dcl i believe <laughs> but you know this is something i mentioned last week as well because a team was all out but they did not enter the complete scores i i, I hope kamit is listening the show yeah and uh, uh, in rises bowling uh, the name is too long for me to read out pallivela murli venkata vidya sagar so he took three wickets and well supported by sandeep and pranith but when it came to rises batting right rises i think they have been one team who has been consistently scoring about 85 or 90 in every game and uh, in their batting they had a depth but their top order failed their 2 3 and 4 uh, scored uh, i mean their batsmen 2 3 and 4 scored 0 3 and 0 just three runs between the three of them but you know ravi kondala sandeep reddy elo tried to stitch the innings together and then the same person with the long name he scored 34 runs and was well supported by bharat kottimichi and shravan uh i think shravan is a seasoned cricketer he has been playing uh, for these teams for a long time and they were able to score those winning runs um, and although they did not get the bonus point uh, what is more important is they got the four points and it is their first win of this season so you know good luck risers for the rest of the season okay the next one is indus bowls versus F- fcc uh before uh, you uh, you walk us through this game Uh, i just want to make a quick uh, uh, comment here during this game both captains fcc captain and indus captains called call, call me and and the issue was one of the indus bowls batsmen came late eight hours late and they were asking me about uh, a rule what is the rule for the if somebody comes late okay if a if a player comes late if he's a bowler he cannot bowl for next eight years uh, eight hours i mean in this case eight hours is a late and at the same time he is not allowed to bat eight overs first eight overs so this is what i explained and indus bowls captain he started uh, threatening me threatening me in the sense like oh if you say this i will walk away from this game so you know i don't know what to answer there they asked me they are the ones who called me and they asked me the question i i gave them the rule and uh, i i did not understand what is the point in you know giving a threat to me there at that time i said i gave uh, i just read what is there in the rule so it's up to you you guys have to decide whether to play or not is is it's your team your choice <laughs> so i just want to make this comment uh, clearly on the air okay if you are asking for a opinion please okay ask for opinion or as per uh, uh, you know clarity i'm ready to give it otherwise i'm not i'm not here to take the calls or uh, if somebody wants to really talk about their own decisions with that kk please yeah jagan i was in the center of everything i think even dinesh was there outside the dugout he was watching what was happening so you know uh, when this was said you know we from fc's perspective we wanted to continue the game so you know Uh, we just settled it there and said okay yeah, go go ahead uh, let your player open because you know if you cannot get the player oh, because again mind you this is a rescheduled game and we have not rescheduled for the evening or the next day we rescheduled it within the hour so few of the players went home and came back so they were a little late you know, looking at all the circumstances uh, uh, we call cricket is a gentleman's game so we went with that uh, we said even let your player open and uh, you know it, it went uh, bad in our favor i would say because he is the player who hit those 50 runs but you know this this happens in cricket and you know what happens in the field how you play is what determines what you uh, the result of the game right so we we are uh, not regretting the decision to let uh, yes play uh, or yes open the game but you know things happen in cricket and uh, off the ground and off the field once the game is done both the team captains are good and we shook our hands and I spoke to him after the game as well. So all yes, settled. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why they, uh, why Indus Bowls captain tried to 
give a threat to me <laughs> that's something i did not understand okay uh, yeah please talk, let's talk about the game now yeah jagan first you know i was miffed with the umpiring decision in the first over with a clear inside edge being given out i was the uh, uh, victim there so <laughs> i'm complaining to you okay. and uh, you know the the top order uh, failed you know the top 3 did not score but you know rahul with the help of kartik teju and teju tried to stabilize the innings and but you know i, I think we gave up uh, too many wickets uh, in uh, ravi ganta's over he bowled six full tosses and we lost two wickets that was an event full over uh, 12 runs in two wickets but losing the two wickets hurt us and uh, the rest of the batsmen had to just put some runs on the board and you know they did well actually they scored 103 uh, in 20 overs but coming to the second innings i really felt the fatigue affected the players and you know they were not able to give the 100% and in this bolts especially yash played an attacking innings he, he was hitting those boundaries all over and uh, yeah when when a batsman attacks that way the game is all over in tenos in tenos they were at 70 for no loss and that decided the game okay the next game of the night is tcn uh, yeah tcn knights versus avengers imti yeah uh, this was again another rescheduled game uh, because of rain this game uh, happened on i think they rescheduled for a monday weekday game and uh, both being sister teams i think there was no problem in uh, uh, rescheduling uh going into the game avengers uh, they won the toss selected to bat put on a decent score of 78 uh, i think they're slowly getting used to uh, uh, this new ball and trying to get some runs put some runs on the board uh, not big contributions from their batting but i think decent performances like double digit scores i see uh, at least three double digit scores in here but then uh, one other thing that i observed in their batting uh, score card was like the number of uh, extras 29 extras from tca knights uh, that's being the highest score of the total i think uh, tca knights need to tighten up their bowling uh, because giving away 29 extras against a team like avengers if you take out those 29 uh, runs the the score would look like 50 runs which is totally a different uh, ball game psychologically when you're looking at a score of 50 uh, bowling wise i think ajay was the pick of the bowlers picking up three wickets and restricting the opponent for 78 uh, half way into the game i think tcn knights definitely fancied their chances with their batting lineup uh, they they are a good batting uh, unit uh, but unfortunately they haven't clicked so far uh, looks like this game will change their uh, 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 confidence and uh, improve their performances going forward in the league their first win in the league so uh, a good good one uh, i think a little late in the game but i think still they can uh, make it work if they win all the games from here so uh, scoring 81 runs for the loss of four wickets and 14 overs uh, good uh, batting by anil and uh, krishna chaitanya good partnership between them i think that sealed the game for them so the first win in their uh, kitty uh, congrats to tcn okay The next one is Southfield Super Kings versus Kites. Can you cover that one too? Yeah, I can do that, Jason. Okay. Okay. What can we say? Everyone voted for Kites, and uh, SSK won the game. You have to really <laughs> find out from Lingappan what he is feeding the boys. Because uh, in SSK, they, I think they won. They yeah. Really good. Okay, they are consistently scoring. That's what amazes me. They, yeah. They have, maybe they have to fix yeah. their bowling. Yeah, but uh, you know, I think from the bowling of Kites, there is something really wrong because uh, uh, Durga Prasad Pamati, I think he has been their strike bowler for most of the time, and I'm not sure why he has been the second change. Uh, especially when you have the power play or you don't want to leak runs, which is what exactly happened here. If you look at the scorecard, SSK was 40 at the end of six overs, so they already were running away with the game and. Uh, you know i think that was a strategic mistake from kites and even ssk scored 104 runs you know that kites does uh, you know they does not have the deep batting lineup but you know, and their top order miserably failed you know, their uh, five out of their top six batsmen in combined they score six runs and that is a crime in uh, a tournament like this and if not for uh, ganesh deepak and sajid and mandeep who tried to put some runs on the board they would not have come close to 92 and uh, this is an interesting stat here uh, jagan lingappan dakshinamurthy of ssk bowled zero overs zero made ins zero runs and zero wickets yet he gave away three dots <laughs> okay 
Yeah, that, that must be. I a think good. he just wanted. Yeah, he. I think he just wanted to get his name on the bowling score card there. Okay, good. <laughs> With that, uh, can we jump to next game? Sure. Yeah, Warrior, Warriors versus Dynamites in a, in a, in a uh, mm-hmm. shocking Dynamites one. Okay, your thoughts on that one, Imti? Yeah, uh, I was actually uh, in the uh, ground next to this game. Uh, we were playing against Brownstone, uh, but I was I, I had a chance to like uh, follow the game a little bit when I was in the next round. Uh, uh, Dynamites batted first in this game. Uh, I think Warriors won the toss and elected to field. Uh, it was a good bowling performance from uh, Warriors. They're typical. Uh, uh, they have their like uh, gun bowlers like uh, Bargo and uh, Hemant. They started off well, I think, uh, but the other side. They were not scoring many runs, but I think they were trying to stay there and get some runs. Uh, they scored uh, 80 runs, but uh, the highest score being again extra. So maybe that department is what costed them the game, I would think. Because uh, looking at the batting for Dynamites, like 12 and 15 are the only standout performances by uh, Venkat and Sai. I think that was a partnership that made them go to that score of 80 runs in 22 overs. Uh, bowling wise, uh, pick of the bowlers Jashwant and Drew picking three wickets each. Uh, 80 runs uh, halfway through the game. Warriors definitely were the favorites and fancied their chances. Uh, but I think uh, Dynamite started off very well in their bowling. They picked up like three, two quick wickets within the first two overs. And then after that, a little partnership between Abhishek and Omkar. Uh, uh, yeah, Abhishek and Omkar, I think they kind of put some resistance. And then there was some good batting in the middle overs by Omkar, Jashwant and Sachin. And at one point, they were like 44 for two, 44 for three in nine overs. And at that point, definitely Warriors were looking to cruise through, cruise along. But I think Suresh Balakrishnan made the difference in the middle overs, picking up like three wickets, three important wickets at very crucial stage. And I think uh, Warriors just lost their way from there and like they kept losing wickets and maybe the scoreboard pressure also added to that and they lost uh, some quick wickets in the end, ending up at 71 and falling short by 9 runs. Uh, they, they, they had a lot of overs to uh, overcome the target but I think, like I said, the scoreboard pressure or whatever wickets remaining pressure that got onto them and they lost their wickets. Hard luck in the end but very good performance by Dynamites I would say, like because they were the underdogs in this game. So congratulations Dynamites. Okay. And uh, Jagan, I have two questions on this game. Yeah. Why did Jasmith not play this game but played the other tournaments on the weekend? First uh, question. The, the, uh, the, uh, I can answer that. Uh, Jesse is injured. He's recovering from injury. And uh, today he's not supposed to play. But because they couldn't, uh, they don't have uh, 11. So he was forced there to play that one. He's just standing there, not playing technically yeah, That's what yeah. so this is a I question know. which came from one of our listeners so i asked it okay so and, so and the second the question part. is yeah yeah second question is how come hemant Bharadwaj played at number 10 because i think uh, the same hemant Bharadwaj scored 133 runs in the michigan cup game that is something i cannot answer only uh warriors management can yeah warriors think tank those are the guys who can answer that one. So let's pass that question. Uh, let's ask him, uh, Jesse, next week. And I, I hope, uh, you know, he's in a good condition. He did not join. He's, he said he'll join uh, some. My only worry is, you know, hope he did not aggravate his injury. Okay. With that, we'll go to our next game, Brownstone versus Blazers. Man, what a game. That's uh, can I call this one a dominance by Blazers? Empty? Uh, <laughs> I, I can take that, but uh, uh, like in between the game, we were a little hesitant. Uh, we were a little under uh, down under confidence when they were batting very well in the beginning. But yeah, I'll just walk you through the game. Uh, we ba- we won the toss. We elected to bat. Uh, we are comfortable batting first uh, in this season because our batting is uh, kind of clicking well. Uh, as usual, our uh, openers, uh, they started off well, but uh, 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 I think second second or third over, uh, we lost the first wicket. Yeah, the second over, we lost the first wicket. And then uh, uh, we kept losing wickets at a regular intervals for the first three or four wickets. And then after that, the, uh, the major partnership that happened was between uh, Nime, uh, between uh, Saif and uh, Harish. 
uh, a partnership started and then again ketan and harish they put on like f- almost 48 runs uh, in the middle overs and like that boosted the score we, we were at at one stage uh, we were looking at 40 uh, we were at 43 for 6 and looking at getting all out again before the 25 overs but i think very very good batting performance from harish and ketan gave the resistance and like took us to the end of 25 overs putting up a very very good score of 119 uh again like with this new ball uh like we have been talking we can we we count that we need at least 100 plus runs to have a get get a good game out of it uh going half way into the game uh, uh actually bowling figures for uh, uh brownstone javed ikbal the pick of their bowlers picking up four wickets and uh, uh yeah half way into the game we did uh, we were like confident that we could easily defend the score but the first wicket partnership between saad and rehan malik was like 30 or uh, 30 odd runs and they were like playing very fluently without any problem and like uh we were uh under pressure for the first 7 8 overs and like once we got that breakthrough i think we kind of ran through their uh, batting order nobody giving any resistance i think and also the weather also played a, a little bit of role it was too hot and humid that day and it was lucky that we actually got a game because that 4 hour 5 hour window was where there was no rain and then immediately after the game there was rain so i think it was just lucky that we got the game and uh, we got them out for 62 runs and uh, ketan pick of the bowlers getting five wickets and an all round performance from him so help us get the five uh, points and uh, in a good position after our first five games okay that's uh, uh, very well put together the next game is rockers versus legends oh boy what a game i so you know i in my opinions uh, legends is one of the teams that can uh, that is contender for the cup but it's it's very heartening to see uh, they are they are scoring 29 runs uh, again. okay kk okay, okay. <laughs> one big lesson out of this game is never ever underestimate your opponents when it comes to cricket I doubt Because, that, uh, Satish is that kind of a guy. He never, you know, uh, overestimates himself based on what I know about him. Okay. Uh, uh, look, look at the look at the game, Jagan. Where are the regular openers? Why did they shuffle a winning combination? No, they have seriously made some major damages to their batting order. And look at the scores. They had four scores of zero, two scores of one. and the rest of the batsmen scored 4 5 2 and 7 the highest score is extras remove the extras they were all out for 20 10 batsmen getting out for 20 runs in 11 overs i think uh, with the type of squad or with the kind of players they have this is a big shame i would say and uh, satish himself said that he had sleepless nights for the next couple of days with this game they had all their big name players in the game and what you know so we have to give credit to rockers as well they took wickets in bunches uh, legends lost four wickets on the score of eight you see that in a single over they lost four wickets and from there they end up, their downfall started and chandru took four wickets for three runs in a three over spell and when it came to rockers bat- batting it was almost a similar start they lost four wickets for eight runs but their two batsmen chandra mohan and uh, Ravinder, they made sure that they get those runs. Once the spell of uh, Shrikant and Praveen is complete, they were able to score those runs. Again, coming to this game, I would say this is a rudimentary and uh, outrageous uh, performance from Legends. I hope they come back as well in the next game. Okay. And really hard luck, hard luck, Satish. We have to put uh, these hard words where they are due. So. Okay, the, I I received a text from Satish saying that you know I will never underestimate any team. Okay. and it's my complete bad decisions uh, to say the uh, it, it it's on me all the bad decisions are taken by me especially uh, with respect to my batting order that's what he said and with that let's get into our next game lions versus panthers our dinesh pandit is ex team okay uh, <laughs> imti yeah uh Lions versus Panthers. Okay, uh, Lions uh, looks like the one. Sorry, In one second, na. Huh? Uh, you know, uh, let's take comment from uh, Dinesh. Dinesh, any comments on this game? Uh, I, I, I am like totally 
I, I I don't know what's happening all these games. I I never seen the board actually, so I I don't know like who won the okay. game also. Yeah, I'm just kidding. You. Okay. Uh, I, I wish I wish Panthers, uh, Panthers should go through. Okay, Panthers won for your information. Okay. Oh, Imti. cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Empty. Yeah. Uh, Lions won the toss. They elected to bat. Uh, they, they scored a very good score, 107. Uh, they they are a very good batting unit, and like their uh, star batsman Natraj uh, scored 31 runs. And then their uh, good partnership with Heyman, I think, who scored 17 runs. And then I see a like few double-digit scores in the scorecard, uh, putting up, uh, adding up to the total of 107, 24. Uh, but they did not play the 25 overs. Uh, maybe they could have added another 10, 15 runs, maybe. But yeah, 100 and 107 is still a very good score. Uh, batting uh, uh, picks is not Natraj and Heyman. Uh, if I look at their uh, bowling for Panthers, uh, Jay Gupta, who has been like their outstanding performer, I think even last year also, uh, picked up four wickets for seven runs and then two wickets each by Rohit and Raghu, uh, giving good support to Jay. Uh, they, they got them out for 107 and uh, going halfway into the game, I think 107 is still a good chaseable score for Panthers. They are a good batting unit too. And I think it, it looks in, it, it reflects in their scorecard also. Like uh, they kind of, uh, uh, it, it was a very easy chase in the end where they finished the chase in 19 overs for the loss of four wickets. Very good contributions by Rohit, Raghu and Rahul, scoring 20, 20 plus runs each and, and, and with a good pace uh, like with a good strike rate also. So chasing down 100 plus runs and with, with less than 20 overs is like a very good achievement and that shows their dominance in the batting also. And this, this game would have given back the confidence to Panthers team and uh, Hopefully, they play well in the next games and get qualified for the round of 16. Okay. So, our, our next game goes to you, uh, MT Strikers versus MCC Miles. And uh, I'm really disappointed with MCC Miles, um, um, you know, stats here. Your take on that? Yeah, this was another game that we were picking up last week for to be a very, very close contest. And uh, we, uh, like, going into this game, both Strikers and MCC Miles were on a winning trot. So it was a very interesting matchup, but looks like strikers came out victorious uh, uh, in this clash. Uh, again, like strikers has been like very consistent in their batting so far in this season. Again, put up a total of 105 runs. And Kapil Chaudhary, like what a, what a season he's having! Like I think this is the third game in the row where he's scoring uh, 20 plus runs for his team. And uh, looks like he was the mainstay along with Aditya and Kishore uh, helping to. Uh, make that score of 105. And uh, bowling-wise, MCC Miles, like the regular, uh, uh, their pick of the bowlers, Rahul Chana, he's a consistent performer for MCC Miles, always in the bowling department. Uh, picked up four wickets. Uh, going halfway into the game, I think there might have been a little pressure on MCC Miles uh, with that big score. But they, they have that batting capability to easily chase that. Uh, looks like they lost quick wickets in the beginning and never go, uh, recovered from that initial blows. Only uh, standout performance again is like Rahul Channa, who scored 16 runs, and Funny, who put up 11 runs uh, in 27 balls. There was a little partnership between them, but then again, uh, not really uh, much contribution from other batsmen. And I don't see Venkat Kongara in the batting lineup, so maybe he was missing in the game. And then Karthik Bopudi also did not fire for them. So maybe that uh, that was a letdown for MCC Miles. Uh, in the end, they bundled up for 56 in 19 overs. And bowling-wise, retain Munshi pick of the bowlers for strikers. And as usual, Kapil Chaudhary, like two, two wickets for five runs in three overs. That's a miserly spell again. So I think Kapil is having a very good season. Hopefully, he continues the same throughout the season and uh, takes strikers all the way into the... Uh, qualifiers. Yeah, it's, I don't know whether you observed or not. Strikers are leading in that in their pool, and uh, their nemesis, Raptors, are at number five. <laughs> okay, uh, so the, the uh, next two games uh, are for KK Tamil Pasang versus Canton Eleven. First one, KK. So for Tamil Pasang, Arjun Chitimani is their uh, heart of the team. He scored 14 runs and. Uh, Shivram scored 11 runs at the, end, at the end. Vijay Joseph, who was their number 11, he scored the 16 runs. They were able to put on only 76 runs. And 
you know even though canton 11 is a new team most of their players have already played diesel in the past and you know raza ali uh, and javed raza ali and haider bati broke the back of tamis kasange and here they were well supported by junaid mogul and uh, you know they were able to put on 76 runs in 21 overs and for canton 11 they did not have a good start they lost a couple of wickets uh, early but you know raza ali played those 30 balls took those extras and with the help of haider bati they were able to put on few scores and Uh, even though there was some collapse in the middle the batsmen were, were just scoring like you know 4 4 6 and it is a low scoring game jagan and uh, you know, 77 is never enough to defend unless you have extraordinary bowling then so hard luck to miss the singe okay and, the next one and uh, okay you want to add anything i know uh, i'm done with this game okay then next one and uh, and uh, uh, last one of the night is tcs talents versus pokeries pokeries are falling down falling down quickly is what i heard because of some yes. internal problems okay kk your thoughts yeah jagan at this stage uh, if uh, what i heard is true if the rumors are true i would really say pokeries will find it difficult to even qualify because due to the internal rift a couple of players with the information that i have i'm yet to validate it but you know i'm saying it on record that you know Uh, Sean and Teja are not going to play for Pokeries anymore, at least for se- season. That is a rumor out there. And uh, uh, there are a few more players who joined them, and uh, they are not happy with uh, the leadership of the team, is what I heard. And uh, you know, you, you you look at this game; they had four or five new players, and they scored only 42 against TCS Talents. This is one of their major games of this year, and uh, when they were going with such a squad, you know. only the team management knows what's going on within the team and i hope what i heard is not true but we'll leave it to uh, pokeries to answer it if they are able to get those players back they they are answering everyone who is listening in the show that you know no there is no rift in the team we are playing together but if the same trend continues for the next two or three weeks we'll get to know what uh, uh, the facts are okay into into coming than us yeah. because uh, what do you say imti do you know do you have any information on uh actually no this is kind of news to me um, oh. i knew that shan wasn't playing but i didn't know it was because of a rift or anything uh, i thought he was just uh, taking it easy because of the other tournaments but i i really didn't know any anything that was going on okay uh, actually i heard the rift happened in the fcc game when it comes to talking about the rules and it continued after the game okay uh, okay uh, see I, i if that is the end i just would like to give one advice to pokeries you know uh, no matter what happens play together as team because you guys started as a team and uh, and um, these things happen in any team if needed i'll come and do patch of work okay and a loss to pokeries is loss to detroit cricket league dcl okay so keep that one in mind and i want you guys to play together yeah especially uh, at this hour right jagan you know they already lost karthik bopudi to mcc miles they lost shikant arn and pravin arikatla to legends and they are down with three players and you know now losing two or three more players Uh, you know it's it's it really affects the team you know because five of your core players leaving the team will always have uh, ad- adverse impact on the team and i hope avinash is still with the team because i don't see him playing this game maybe he had a leather ball game or me i don't know that maybe avinash can dial in this week or the next week and answer that yeah uh, i hope he is listening and uh, he can answer this one okay but regardless of that one uh, whatever happens uh, okay i want pokeries uh, to be together and uh, if it is not true if it is just a rumor i'm very sorry for discussing this on radio okay with that our regular uh, um, analysis of last week is done and let's mm-hmm. get into prediction now our uh, man dinesh comes into picture okay uh dinesh with the kind of performance you are giving you now everybody in dcl knows about you and who is dinesh okay so uh, you should start looking into other teams also now <laughs> okay their stats and all uh the first game of the night is uh, dark horses versus avengers 
I think Doc, Doc Horses will win this one very easily, is what my guess. Uh, any objections here? I go with you, Jagan. Okay. So, <laughs> KK and, and Imti, no objections, right? No. Nope. No. Okay. The next one is uh, Detroit Bulls versus Gladiators. Uh, right now, I'm thinking Gladiators are going to win this one, unless you guys object this one. No. Okay, I'm not hearing anything, so it's gladiators. Blazers versus MI Rangers. I'm not asking Imti here. KK, what do you say? Blazers versus MI Rangers. Okay, unless uh, Jitender plans on kidnapping a couple of MI Rangers, uh, of Blazers players, I think uh, Blazers will win this game. Unless, again, I really hope Jitender uh, talks to his boys. Uh, because you mean over the last couple of games, their bowlers were miserable. I would say both with blues as well as uh, with dark horses. So uh, good luck, MI Rangers. And uh, my mind says Blazers, heart says MI Rangers. Okay, Dinesh, what do you say? Blazers versus uh, MI Rangers. Same here. I I I feel Blazers win, but uh, uh, any day MI Rangers can you know. Reverse the decision as well. Like they got a uh, talent, so yeah, I good. feel Blazers uh, win this game. Good, good, good. So it's two zero Blazers. Okay, if if somebody has to, uh, you know, uh, manipulate the Blazers, I would say go and uh, talk to Imti's wife. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> easy route. Okay, the next one is Pokeries versus Panthers. Um, we, we, Hey, Jagan, before you go to the next game, my wife yeah. is listening, so don't give those advices. Please. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's good. Uh, so, uh, Pokris versus Panthers. KK. I'll go with Panthers. Dinesh, I should... Okay. Uh, I, I, I'm I not sure, uh, like, playing 11 of Pokris, like, if they are full, full-fledged full team, they, like, they beat anyone at any day. But uh, I'm not sure with uh, their playing level. Like if if they, but my 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 heart says Panther. But I feel if if they come back with the, a disastrous performance, and I feel poker is win this time. But my heart says Panthers. Okay, so in other words, you're you're showing you you're loud to Panthers still. Okay, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Imti. So uh, just got to know about the Pokeris internal stuff. So maybe if that is true, then I will just go and root for Pan. Uh, like I will predict Panthers win. Okay, knockers because versus mentally, psychologically, the team is disturbed. Definitely. Okay. So it's a, let let me put it like this: in Pokeris or the Pokeris that we know, if they are playing with the Pokeris that we know, it's going to be three zero. Otherwise, it is Panthers three zero. What do you guys say? Three zero. I agree. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I agree with you. Yeah. Okay. The next one is Knockers versus Knight Riders Cricket Club. And with, with the way Knight Riders bundled last week and a couple of weeks back, and uh, we should give this uh, game to Knockers 3 0. Any objections there? No objections. Even. No. I hope no objection. The next one is Mustangs versus Raptors. Raptors, I'm uh, expecting some records here. Okay. Agnes Mustangs, what do you guys say? KK. Uh, yes, uh, I expect uh, Raptors to break some records here, but um, Mustangs is just playing with a couple of players, um, okay. proper players. So you know, I hope they give some resistance to Raptors. Empty. Yeah, I think Raptors will be raring to go. Uh, they're really struggling to get uh, full games, so I think they'll unleash their uh, batting and bowling performances in this. Okay. Dinesh. Yeah, uh, the same same as uh, uh, Inti said. Like they are like the couple of games were washed out and still they were uh, fourth place, which which doesn't suit them. I think they they will uh, you know they will get get to the uh, level what they wanted by this game. I I believe. Let them beat the strikers first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Rockers versus Blues. I'm expecting Rockers to win this one. Any objections? No. 
Uh, I'll go with blues. Oh, fantastic. Imti. Uh, I'll go with rockers. Dinesh. Yeah, I, I'll go with rockers. Cool. Uh, okay. Again, we have to remember uh, blues back MI ranges and almost give a scare to the defending champions this year. Uh, see, uh, I'm not denying anything here. I'm just asking you guys to predict that's all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, the next one is Kites versus Canton 11. Okay, this is going to be a very tight game. What do you guys say? Uh, KK. Uh, Canton 11. Imti. Canton 11. Wow. Mm. Uh, I feel ki- Kites. Okay. So some brotherhood love should be there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the next one is Falcons versus uh, Southfield Super Kings. And uh, I think Falcons are going to win this one. KK. No questions, sir. Okay. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Fair. Okay. Dinesh. Fal- Falcons. Falcons. Okay. Try Hawks versus FCC Agni. I'm giving to Agni. Any objections? No. Okay. The next one is FCC versus Strikers. How come FCC versus Strikers? They played last week, yeah. right? Ah, we played in this uh, board. Oh, in the, sorry. Last week. Okay. Uh, you got confused. FCC versus Strikers. I'm not asking you, KK. So, Imti, what do you say? Uh, I think just going by the performances, Strikers are consistent so far. So, I will just go with Strikers. Uh, maybe this will just give some boost to KK and hope he proves me. Yeah, this is an afternoon game, uh, Imti. I hope I'll get enough sleep before I go to the game. <laughs> okay, Dinesh, what do you say? Strikers versus I, FCC. I feel, I feel FCC, FCC might uh, win this game. Wow, awesome! Uh, Legends versus KECC. KK. Legends. Imti. Legends. Legends. Okay, TCS Talents versus FHCC. I'm thinking uh, TCS Talents three zero. Any objections there? No objection. No. Okay, with that we concluded um, uh, our. Uh, oh no, uh, there are a couple of more games. MCC Miles versus Dynamites. Oh sorry, oh sorry. MCC versus uh, MCC Miles versus Dynamites. I think this will be the showcase game of the week. Game of the yeah. week. Yeah. Yeah. MCC what? Miles. MCC, MCC Miles. Miles. Dinesh, what did you what did you say? M- MCC Miles. Okay. Uh, empty. Uh, I'll give it to Dynamites. Okay. Safari versus uh, Rising Star. KK. Rising Star. Empty. Rising Star. Rising, Rising Star. Empty, I did not hear you. Uh, Rising Stars, sorry. Oh, okay. Fantastic. With that, we uh, concluded uh, predictions here. Uh, uh, before I uh, take your... Uh, uh, last word, uh, I just would like to say one more thing. Uh, smile centers, um, uh, uh, <clears throat> they order uh, an electronic brush, an electronic uh, clean, uh, two teeth cleaning uh, equipment for Dinesh Pindeti today. Okay, uh, it's uh, worth is close to $200, I think. Uh, I'll hand over that one to you, Dinesh. Um, uh, whenever I get that one into my hands, okay. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Smile Centers, and uh, especially um, it, uh, Smile Centers um, uh, CEO Sunny Reddy was uh, quite happy to hear about this one, and he was immediately uh, he said this one. And when I went uh, to their office to collect this one, uh, Doctor Sirisha, she she said, you know, she will order um, a new one. Uh, for Dinesh. That's what she said. You know, she's going to order. She ordered right in front of me. Okay. That is what... Did you say something, Dinesh? I I said thank you. Oh, okay. Uh, Okay. With that, let's conclude tonight's show. Uh, Keep listening to... uh, Sorry. Um, uh, 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 With the last words from uh, our uh, analyst tonight, I'll, I'll close the show. KK, quickly. 
Yep. Uh, thank you, listeners, for dialing in uh, despite uh, being late for today. We really apl- apologize about that. And uh, uh, once again, we have had a fantastic week. We had 14 games last week, and this week uh, the weather is really good, and we hope we'll have all the 15 games. And uh, once again, congrats, Dinesh. This is your moment, so enjoy it. Thank you. Okay. Imti. Yeah, I would like to conclude by thanking our listeners uh, week in, week out. You've been uh, such uh, ardent listeners. So thanks again. And uh, like uh, uh, Dine, uh, like KK mentioned, uh, I would just congratulate Dinesh again. Uh, yeah, like wonderful performance and just keep doing your best and hope we see more and more of uh, such performances coming from you. And I uh, just... Uh, uh, advice to all the players uh, who are going to play this weekend. Looks like the weather is really, really good and it's going to be in the high 90s and 100s. So just be careful when you're going out to play. All the best to all the team. Okay. I got a text for, uh, saying that, you know, um, just when you guys talked about Dynamite's prediction, uh, my phone died. Can you guys re-predict that one? What was the re-prediction for Dynamite's game? Dynamite's versus MCC Miles. Miles two dynamites one. Two one. Miles two dynamites one. That's 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 the prediction. Okay. And uh, Dinesh, we will conclude tonight show with your word. Uh yeah, so uh so on this occasion I would like to thank uh, you know uh, all the Indus family, also my family, my wife, she like she's supporting me. Like whenever I say I, I have a game and uh, I I'll go out and play. So she's encouraging me as well and also I would like to thank all all of you guys for giving me this opportunity to speak a word and you know share my views. Yeah. Okay. Thank you guys. Wonderful. And I will I also would like to say thanks to um, uh, Indus Thunders uh, Indus family uh, and uh, a notable person from FCL and um, um, Mangesh. Uh, and um, Smile Center for all the gifts that you guys, uh, Smile Center, and also to uh, Aditi Restaurant uh, um, offered by uh, Ajay Reddy. Uh, thanks to all of you guys for uh, all the gifts that you are giving to Dinesh Pandeti on his great achievement. Thanks a lot, Dinesh, for joining our show. Um, Thank, with you. That, Thank you. With that, I will conclude tonight's show. Here, keep listening. DCL talk show on DCL radio. Thanks a lot, guys. Good night.